Hey guys, do you want to learn how you can make your standing side bend more challenging to help you build more strength and more mobility in your hips? If so, check out this video. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga. This is your weekly edition of The Yoga Fix. This is a new video series. I'd love to hear your feedback. Be sure to leave it in the comments here below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications for when new videos are released. That way you won't miss any of the two to three videos that we upload on a weekly basis. So in this video, I'm going to be covering your yoga fix for the week, showing you how you can make your standing side bend more challenging and more effective for building strength. I'm also going to cover a wellness tip, something to help you improve your health and wellness, lifestyle, and then one thing from my personal uh, routine, my personal wellness routines uh, that you might find interesting. That's, that topic this week is going to be my morning cardio routine. All right, here we go. And if at any point during this video you like what you're hearing, be sure to hit that like button. And again, this is a brand new series, so I would really love to hear your feedback uh, to make sure that this video series is successful and that we're putting out content that you're interested in hearing. All right, so this week's Yoga Fix comes from the newest workout in the Manful Yoga Workout Library uh, titled the Strength Foundations Workout for Core Hips and Shoulders. And this is a modification to help you build more strength, particularly in your hips and your core when you're doing a standing side bend. So if you look over here to my right, or sorry, my left and your uh, and you're right, you're going to see me doing this modification in that workout. And what we're doing here, all we're doing is abducting the leg, whichever side we're leaning to, we're abducting the corresponding leg. So lifting that leg to the outside. And this helps to do a number of things. Number one, we're building strength in the outer thigh and your glute of that lifted leg. And then we're also building more stability in your standing leg. So we're building more balance, we're working more on your adductor strength or your inner thigh. That's gonna help your knees, it's going to help you prevent low back pain. Uh, it's just gonna make this pose a little bit more strength focused. Now, we aren't able to bend as much to the side, so you're not going to get as much side flexion while you're doing this, uh, but you don't always have to do the pose like this. You can change it up depending on your goals of the workout. If you want more strength, give this modification a shot, or if you want more of a stretch for your side, getting that side flexion, then try the traditional standing side bend with both feet on the ground. Again, this week's Yoga Fix comes from the newest workout in the Manful Yoga members area called the Strength Foundations Workout for Core, Hips, and Shoulders. This is part of a brand new program we just launched, the successor series to the Strength Foundations course, which is the most popular workout program in the members area. Get access to this workout and over 320 more in the Manful Yoga members area. Learn more at manfulyoga.com slash join. Now don't go away yet, I've got a couple other tips for you. Um, the first is a wellness tip, and this is the part of the video where I introduce something that I think is really important uh, to your overall wellness and maybe something that uh, not as many people know about or it's something that not as many people are aware of or they just don't put as much focus on. And my wellness tip for you this week is being deliberate with stress management. So you need to make time for your stress management. It needs to be something you do on a daily basis at the same time every day, at least six times per week. So here are my three tips to help you make, uh, to make stress management part of your daily schedule. Number one, it has to be deliberate. You wanna have it uh, at a specific time and you wanna have it as a set activity. It's not just, I'm gonna watch TV for 15 minutes, it's I'm going to meditate, I'm going to go for a walk with zero distractions. Uh, so you wanna be completely focused on it. Um, that's the second part, being 100% uh, focused, being completely absorbed in your stress management activity. You don't wanna have your phone on, you don't wanna be listening to music or TV in the background. You should be completely absorbed in the task at hand. And then number three, you wanna include some aspect of breathing. Breathing, slowing down your breathing, focusing on your breath, focusing on mindfulness on your body helps to activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which helps to activate, uh, helps you wind down, it helps you rest and digest, helps you lower your heart rate, lower your blood, lower your blood pressure, um, and it helps you slow down your breathing, and that all helps with stress relief. The last thing I'm gonna mention here is my new morning, uh, part of my new morning routine is morning cardio. 
Now the inspiration behind this is a book I read called Spark. And it's basically about how doing a little bit of cardio in the morning helps to improve your entire day. It helps you be more focused. Um, it helps your mind retain a lot of its, um, retain or even improve your mental cognitive abilities. So it helps with learning. Um, it helps, it's been proven to help high school students with their test scores. So there's just a lot of benefits that go from doing some morning cardio um, and specifically cardio. So not just doing strength training in the morning, but doing something that gets your heart rate um, anywhere from 75 up to 90% of your, uh, your maximum heart rate, which is one, 220 minus your total age. So for me, that's 190 uh, beats per minute. So anyways, um, the focus here is not on, it, it might not necessarily be on replacing your entire workout. For me, it's just getting my heart rate up, getting some movement in the morning, um, and trying to get the benefits of aerobic activity. So I'm just doing five to 10 minutes of exercises that I would typically do before I would play a lacrosse game or before lacrosse practice, getting my body warm, doing some dynamic mobility stuff, and then going into um, some cardio, you know, some cardio focused movements like running back and forth, doing some side shuffle reacts, and just some things like that. If you wanna check that out, I posted a video about that on my Instagram last week. You can check that out uh, and make sure you're following me on Instagram there's a link in the description here below. If you're looking to start doing cardio in the morning, I would recommend just make sure that you're doing something appropriate for your fitness level. So if you haven't done cardio in a long time, walking might be enough for you. And then over time, as walking becomes more uh, easier, it's not as challenging, then you can start jogging. Um, and then again, the goal here is just to get you up into that 70 to 90% heart rate uh, max. And then if you can do that for 15 minutes per day, um, Studies have shown that just 15 minutes per day can be effective. So that's it. Um, again, we'd love to hear feedback here. Uh, this is a new series we're doing. Um, I think it's I think it's going to be helpful. Just a good way for me to let you know um, about some way that you can help improve your yoga practice. So with that yoga fix, making sure that you guys know about the new content, the new workouts that we're putting out on our website, and then also give us, giving you some tips about wellness and stuff from my personal wellness routine uh, that I get questions about all the time. Now make sure to hit subscribe, join the channel, uh, don't miss out on anything. Hit the bell button to get notifications when new videos are released. And again, if you could leave a comment, uh, let me know how you uh, would like to improve this video, or if there's something you wanna see, any particular topic, um, or if you just have any feedback, let me know here. And if you liked any of this video, be sure to hit the like button. All right guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you on future videos.